So we have a circle and there are five points P, Q, R, S, T on the circumference of the circle. It's asking whether, uh, so let's not draw these uh, on the circle because we don't know the order. It's just asking is arc P, Q, R. So, so that means P, Q, R is going, are going to be somewhere arc P, Q, R longer than the arc R, S, T. Okay, so let's just imagine S and T somewhere for ease of um, solving. Remember, S T could have been this this side also. All right, so let's look at the first statement. It's asking that the P Q R this one is bigger than R S T this one. So that's the question. The first one is Q T is longer than Q S. So see this way, Q T cord Q T. Okay, so cord Q T is longer than cord Q S. So look at this diagram only, QT is greater than QS and uh, PQR, if I draw R here, see PQR will be bigger and if I draw R here, PQR will be smaller than RST. Visually you can see it, PQR is going to be only this much and RST is going to be much bigger and if R were here, then see PQR becomes so big and RST remains small. So statement 1 is not sufficient. Let's look at statement 2. Statement 2 says that um, S T is longer than P T. So that means this time P and T are closer and S and T are distant. So something like this. But nothing has been said about Q R T, Q, Q and R. So various possibilities are there. So is P Q R, so if Q and R are very nearby, something like this, P Q R becomes smaller and see R S T becomes much bigger. In this case, we get no as an answer. And if uh, Q and R are somewhere here, Q, R, in this case, C, P, Q, R will be much bigger and R, S, T will be smaller. Would be even more clear if we have uh, S a bit here, then you can see that yes, um, R, S, T would be smaller and P, Q, R would be bigger if I'm saying S comes here and R comes here, something like this. Now see, R, S, T is much smaller and P, Q, R would be much bigger. So again, yes and no, both are possible. So not sufficient on combining. So in this case, when Q is here, C, Q, T is of course longer than Q, S and uh, P, Q, R is bigger than R, S, T. So in this case, we are getting yes as an answer. And let's imagine a different scenario. We have got a yes, we want to get a no that P, Q, R is not longer than R, S, T while these conditions are met. So let's have P, T really small, E comes here, T comes here. Let's have R, S, we want to have R, S, T really big. So R comes here, S and T would come somewhere here. We have to make sure to get a no, we're trying to get a no, remember, yes, we have got to prove the two statements together insufficient, we want to get a no. So this condition has, we're trying to meet this one by having P, T really small, so that S, T could be bigger. And to have this condition, Q, T, we want Q, T, longer than Q S. So let's have Q somewhere here. So see Q is big enough, Q T is big and we want Q S to be smaller than this. So let's have S very close here, S somewhere very close. And now we see that uh, see P Q, P Q R is very small, R S T is really big. So we have got no as an answer while these conditions are being met. Q T is longer than Q S. So yeah, Q T is longer than Q S and ST is longer than PT. ST is of course longer than PT. So even together it doesn't work. So this is a very good DS question I would say. DS is all about remaining open to all the possibilities, exploring all the possibilities, exploiting them and this question does teach you that. It's a difficult question. You have to look at different options and uh, when you do so you'll realize that even after combining you don't get to a unique answer and therefore E is the right answer.